Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. Available now on the Apple App Store and the Android Play Store, get all the latest news, fixtures, videos, scores, stats, and key dates for your favorite football teams from around the globe. It's free to download, and of course, the link is in the description. If you love football, if you love the game, download the app today. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're back today to have a look at some Pez 2020 gameplay. So we're going to dive right into it. We're going to look at the menus, uh, the little bit of pre-match build-up, and then get into the gist of what we need to. It isn't the best quality in the world, but it's kind of the way things went out. It was only shown in 720. Uh, but anyway... Let's not mess around any longer. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Subscribe for more, of course. And let's dive into this bit of gameplay for Pez 2020. So we'll start off by having a look at the new menu system. Okay, so this is the way it works. It, it surprised me. I'm not going to lie. It did. I uh, was very shocked to see that they've gone for a very, very simplistic look. There's no boxes. There's no squares. There's no hexagons. There's nothing. They've got these little icons right here. So you've got kickoff, eFootball. This might be stats. This is probably settings. You've got become a legend, master league, and my club. You pick them. And then it actually, when you when you change from one icon to another, this will change. So the uh, the player does switch out. I don't know if it's going to be the same, if it's going to be just Barcelona, it's going to be something different. I don't know, but it does change, which is a nice addition there. Uh, you can also press down, and then it gives you extra information. Right now, they've got the new actions, which is specific for E3. But when the full game's released, they will change this accordingly. It might show you my club news, um, what's happening, updates, and all that. But... Here it is. Let me know your thoughts on the new menu. Uh, it's different. It certainly is different. I have to say that much. But, you know, at least they're changing it up because I got sick and tired of seeing the same thing over and over again. So from here, you click on kickoff, fast forward it, and um, you do go into quick match and co-op. So those are your two options. Uh, this has stayed the same. Adam kept saying quite a few times that this is not 100% finished uh, i don't know if it's true or not uh, but obviously you have your options of user one user two you pick them he also said this isn't completely finalized i mean I, you know when they said a new menu system this is what i mean you know just having a new menu on the home screen is not really you know revamping the menu it's changing one aspect change the rest of it so i really do hope this is not the final product when it comes to the menus you know it does need to be modernized up we still don't know what master league is going to look like they did say there's going to be new menus there as well so when they show a little bit more of that then we'll get a better idea so these are the teams they had in the demo they ended up choosing barca and pez legends quite a lot obviously they wanted to promote those two this is the screen as i pause it here the pre-match screen it's, it's been tweaked. It has been tweaked. Uh, I do like the look of the players. Uh, as in, you know, they made them a little bit closer. Obviously, they've cut their feet off. Uh, but overall, I do like that. Now, the jerseys and the kits are still a little bit, you know, I think big on these players. Quite large, aren't they? Um, especially, I mean, if this was a Pez Legends, they'd have shorter shorts. But Adam kept saying as well that they're not finalized. So... I'm hoping they take it to heart if people say look we want them a little bit more tighter form fitted on players they'll say okay let's go ahead and fix that so there's the lineups as you can see the bottom shows you the uniform the stadium the kickoff the game plan general settings all the same that hasn't really been tweaked too much they've just made them did they make them shorter i can't remember exactly but yeah I, i'm hoping they, they spice it up a little bit i do like the background the 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 color scheme they've gone for is obviously a a purpley pinkish kind of barca style um so let's just fast forward this so they this is the settings they're playing on this is a new one right here have a look at it have a look at it okay we've got max number of substitutions three but they've updated it so you'll get an extra one like in the real world now if you go into extra time so that's good to see okay fair enough fair enough uh, in this match they did actually play on regular the goalie still made some blinding saves i'm not going to show you this match because it's been shown i, I actually found another game uh, obviously it's still barca and pez legends but it's a different match that i saw i just wanted to show this before we get into it so you guys could see if there's any differences now we move into 
the game plan and it's still kind of blur isn't it it hasn't changed at all you know what that's what i mean again like when you say a new menus konami let's refine and you know modernize up every aspect of the menus because for me here it's still a little bit you know boxy and i don't know it just doesn't suit you know why can't we go 3d now a 3d formation screen would be fantastic i think fifa does a good job of it borrow some elements from that so and once again adam kept saying this isn't finalized 100 percent but i don't know how much of a change they're going to do in a couple of months to this not a lot i'm very much think this is going to be the final product it works okay okay it works we've had it before but i would like to see them really step it up if they don't do it this year pez 2021 get some brand new menus for every single aspect of the game and just refine it completely so he made some changes did whatever and that was that so i think they pretty much got into the gameplay after this so we're not going to worry about that because i've got another video to show you of that one so there's a look at the menu there's a look at the game plan everything else let me know your thoughts but now let's dive into an actual match and see what it's all about so this matchup was actually played at River Plate Stadium. So instead of the new camp, which we always see, they decided to go for this. You can see you've got Adam and Robbie playing in the top right of your screen. And, you know, I was really hoping, and I was really hoping, uh, that they were going to come out with a new presentation at the beginning. But unfortunately, they haven't. It's the same that we saw last year. Um, bit disappointing. Uh, to be fair because I really wanted to see a brand new introduction to the game something that we hadn't seen not the same old players come out wave the hands shake the hands and then it's done but at least they got a new menu I guess <laughs> with, the, with the new color scheme that they do update every single year I mean this is a little different they've got the circles within players faces so I guess you can say that's slightly slightly different but nothing mind-blowing um, it, it does look good but it's not the best quality, so apologies for that. It's the best I really could find. None of these videos really do it justice. When you see the game in itself, I'm sure it's going to look fantastic uh, with the updated lighting and everything else that they've put into the game. So, let's dive into it. And the first thing, uh, this is the ball. This is the new ball they have. It's, once again, nice ball. I'm not going to use it, but it's a nice ball. Uh, you've got the old school boots there. And the first thing you're going to notice is uh, the new camera angle uh, this is a little tip here a new player action and its corresponding command have been added check the new and updated commands by going to the command list in the pause menu okay well, that's not really relevant but here it is so you can see the camera angle panning out it is quite far away uh, i was hoping they were going to show us the menu and and, and how you can change the camera angle uh, but they decided to not do that they just sort of went in there and started playing the game it's going to be kind of hard to see the ball because the resolution isn't the best. Now, people are going to come in and they're going to say, oh, it looks like Pez 19.5, etc. Look, let's get some facts straight away out the way. Uh, it's running on the same engine. It's running on the same fundamentals and core gameplay that we saw in 19 and 18 and 17, etc. The difference is, I feel, right there. I mean, I think that's a new animation. Let's have a look at this. And this video might be a little bit long, I do apologise, but I really just want to really analyse it. But Beckham picks it up, Arthur's closing him down, little fake there, comes across him and, uh, you know, gets caught. It, it looked pretty good. You know, it, I think it is kind of hard though to see everything from this camera angle because it is quite far away. So it might mask uh, issues that you may see closer to the field. We never really got a chance to see that, but I do like the camera angle because it does make it at least feel like a totally different game as much as it isn't of course not but it does seem slightly different because they've added the ability now to have these camera angles or this camera angle which does look far better and i will say it seems more responsive it's a nice pace uh, but the responsiveness looks far better it, it really does the way they dribble the ball stays close to them if they need to obviously Messi's Messi here's a chance for him early on and this could be the very first chance and goal but a good save same animation of the goalie we are going to see a lot of them uh, I was disappointed to kind of see the same 
animations that one player scored and the height bug is still in there by the way uh, Messi was like the same size as Luis Suarez when they did the head-to-head -head clash after they scored a goal so Konami haven't fixed that it's a bit of a shame I was hoping they would it's little things but still uh, at least they are focusing on the gameplay itself but anyway, let's continue here as uh, PK plays it back to him, Titi. And I think the main thing here is, obviously, the camera angle adds a new dimension. It does seem more responsive. Referees will have to give it a little bit more time before we can really dissect them and see how good they are, as that chance was just wide. But I think the responsiveness has been increased, and they, they spoke about that a lot. It was something that Adam kept talking about, which clearly they know... That the responsiveness is not good enough and it hasn't been good enough but you have to also understand that pairs is not going to be as responsive as fifa because pairs are going for a slower paced more of a simulation that's a little bit of a risky ball in fact a very risky ball there to give it away and a, a silly place to go and give a free kick away it would be nice to switch up the referees as well because we've been seeing the same refs for i don't know how long we have same animations there as uh, we saw last year I mean this was a foul and he uh, at, at least there was no clipping there if you have a look at it slow it down clipping is something that annoys me as you guys know I keep talking about it but if you watch his feet his foot doesn't go through him he stands on his foot he actually stands on his foot it doesn't go through his foot last year I feel like that would have gone through his foot so I think this is something I'm going to be watching very closely during these videos the amount of clipping because clipping will affect the game online substantially if it's not addressed free kicks he said have been slightly tweaked um, from there it looked like it was the same options i don't know if they've made them harder probably i think they should have they, they have actually patched them in pez 2019 they seem to be harder than before this was a decent effort by Lionel Meja. what a goal that is absolute blinder uh, so either way, I'm not sure. Uh, I think that was Adam, and Adam's obviously played this game quite a bit, so you would expect him to, to probably at least hit the target, and fair play. Banged it into the top corner. Very, very nice. So the lads all celebrate. A little tap on Messi's head. Uh, but yeah, he struck it well. I do actually like the eFootball logo when it, when it flashes through between uh, transitions. But yeah, nice free kick. Fair enough. Could the goalie done better? Possibly. And uh, is that a new celebration? Can't remember seeing that one last year. Anyway, so there we go. 1-0. Uh, you know, I'm talking minimally, uh, minimally about the... Uh, that's not even a word. But talking about the scoreboard. Yeah, they haven't really done a whole lot with it. I'm not that fussed about that. All right, let me bring this back. Because this is something I think has been worked on. And I'm sure you guys will agree. The animations, as you see here, Beckham will pick this up. Maybe we should make it a little bit quicker. But watch Beckham. Gets it out of his foot. And then he opens up his body. And the way he switches that, it does look quite realistic. You know, there's a little bit of slide in there. But overall, the way he swings it around, switches play. They have to set their feet. And this all goes into the new contextual sensitive passing thingy magia can't remember exactly what it's called now but you can see that players you know they plant their foot they lay it off they play possession and um yeah i don't know there's something about it some people are going to say this is you know pez 19.5 obviously it isn't uh, fifa is going to be the same people saying the same thing and i will say the same thing too but running on the same engine i still think it does look better responsiveness is key and I feel like they have worked on that quite a bit. They uh, went in for some replay action here just to show the physicality. There it is. You know, him sticking out his arm there, if you watch it. Stuck out his arm on PK. And he pushed him. See, th there's no clipping there. I feel like they have worked on that. There's, there's something about it. You know, comes in, just gives him a little shove. The physicality is massive. It's key. PK can't get near him here. Can't get near Ronaldinho for that aspect. So, yeah, I think you really have to play this game. You know, Barry played it, obviously, at Pez Universe, and he does say that, you know, you've got to play it to really appreciate the differences between 19 and 20. But just looking at this, even in the terrible resolution that it really is in, I think it's going to be 
definitely enjoyable, but we also have to wait and see if this is going to be the final product. You know, we, we Konami are no, you know, are known for speeding things up or changing the gameplay for no reason at all. Now, watch this. This is a goal. Watch the the movement here. Now you can see he tried to change players there, and when he did that, Vieira. I think that was is that Vieira. So if you watch Vieira, we'll slow it down a wee bit. But you watch, he's, he's controlling this player right now. He switches. And because because he switched, now, you know, I don't know how quickly this happened. But momentum played a big key in this. Because Vieira's running this way. He had to adjust his feet. And that gave Messi just enough time to ramp up the strike and smash it into the far corner. So, you know, that's where the simulation type things come into play. And maybe FIFA, yes, Vieira would have been able to get back quick enough. But on pairs, when you focus about momentum and all them and they come together, if you make the wrong decision like that, it's going to cost you a goal. He could have took control of Vieira earlier. He didn't. So Vieira had to try and come back. He's not as quick as Messi. Messi has the ability to rifle it uh, into the back of the net and, you know, make it 2-0. Uh, you'll see the movement here of Suarez running off the ball. I'm not seeing any players sort of stopping and, and running. Well, actually, I did see a little bit. If you bring this back, if you watch, I think that is Iniesta right here. It does that little silly, yeah, it still does that little silly animation where they do sidesteps for no reason at all. Um, so hopefully they'll work out the kinks a little bit more. So let's just fast forward and dive into the gameplay. Yeah, it's going to be a long video. I <laughs> hope you guys do enjoy it. I mean, you know... We're going to see more and more PES 2020 gameplay, I think, over the next couple of days. Hopefully, a really good quality one will come out. A nice direct feed, 100%, 1080p, crisp and clear. That will really give us a sense of how this game does, does play. But overall, I am, you know, I'm, eh, you know, impressed. I don't want to say I'm blown away by it. Of course not, because... Ultimately, as I keep saying, it's the same engine, but it looks like they've worked on things that are important gameplay-wise. Um, responsiveness is there. The movement's there. The players are making the runs off the ball. There's a ball over the top towards Louis, uh, Louis Suarez. Park Ji Sung is actually playing as... I think he's playing at the back. Centre-back, left-back. Ronaldinho tried to make the, the little fake there. Deft little touch inside. And Barcelona just trying to work it forward. Nice little turn by Um Titi. Arthur now lays it forward to Dembele. Closed down quickly. I'm not quite sure what happened there. See, that's something that needs. Now, I don't know if that was an error on the human part. But if you watch Vieira, he sort of runs into him. And then right here, look, watch, he sort of has the brain fart. There it is, the old sidestepping. So little niggles like that just need to be ironed out. I know this isn't the full build, of course. But if they look at these and they analyze them and critique it and say, okay, what do we really need to fix? The AI is still being a little bit silly at times, not quite as responsive as they could be. Uh, let's go in there and iron these out. I mean, they'll have a real nice game on their hands and people will enjoy it. Uh, nice little challenge there by Batistuta. Lays it off to Maradona. And you're going to feel the difference between these players. I did see one moment where Totti, you know, he used the outside of his boot as opposed to the left foot, because that's what Totti does, right? He, he favours that foot way more uh, than ever really using his left foot. But it does seem a lot more responsive, and I keep saying it, but that's because the way the players are taking these touches, and it's also the new finesse dribbling, using the right stick as opposed to just the left stick. Interesting to see how that works. Uh, I think you're going to have to play it to ultimately... Right there, that was, that was quite interesting. You see the way he got that ball down? Let's rewind this. So the ball comes back inside. He wins the header. Now watch the touch from Busquets. He gets it all wrong. There's the physics coming into play. Watch it again. Ball over the top. Good header here. But he just gets the touch wrong. And then the physics of the ball makes it spin backwards. He's got to adjust his feet and just quickly and get it away. So that's nice to see there. Nice little animation. The physics doing well. Uh, David Beckham, I like to see him whip in a few balls because he, he has a really good technique that they uh, clearly have worked on as well. Uh, not quite sure what happened there. The feed must have cut off for a little bit. They did have some problems with the live stream and it happens, I guess. Hopefully they'll fix them and we won't see that again. So Beckham got a, a talking to for the late challenge. 
Okay, any clipping? Any clipping? I didn't see too any clipping there. That's good as well. Jordi Alba in the background of his old beaver teeth. Looking the part. So we've got some tweets coming up. Hopefully they go away momentarily. So yeah, final few seconds of this half before we advance into the second half. I do think there's at least one more goal to show you guys as well. But there it is, half time. So we had two goals from Messi, a free kick and a nice tantalizing run. Uh, still kind of the same walking off the field animation from last year. So, I mean, they haven't worked on that. But I'd rather them do the gameplay and fix that and all those issues than necessarily adding a little bit more presentation at the beginning of the game or at half time. I'd love for them to work on both, but you can't win them all. So let's fast forward this. Some guy sticking his thumb up. Well played. Now let's just dive right now into the second half. Uh, but of course, leave your thoughts below of what you made of it. If you've played it already and you are at E3, then that's fantastic. I think you're here. He's just showing the dribbling. And that's the... Uh, a big a big point that they are going to be talking about this year is the dribbling and dribbling is key of course it is in any football game anyone who plays football you know you have to be able to dribble some of the best dribblers in the world are simply unstoppable uh, and and that's going to be the way it is on pairs if you've got the ability now this is a nice goal purely for the the battle the battle here between maradona the way he holds off his man and it's maradona-esque isn't it into the far corner really nicely done the ball over the top just dinks it. And then right here. Look at the way he holds off his man, Jordi Alba. They're about, about the same height. And he just whips it. Far corner. Got the players behind the goal sticking their hands up. But this is a nice... I love the physicality. I really do. Look at that. Both jostling for it. They're not pushing each other as in. They're, they're, not, they're not going through each other. They're actually physically touching each other. Manhandling each other. Trying to win the ball back like you would do in this type of a match. So, credit to Maradona, did the business. I can't translate any of this, unfortunately, for you guys, but uh, maybe some of you can. So, we've got two goals to one. Wait a minute, I'm not sure what on earth that was. Hang on a minute. Let's have a look here. Okay, so that, that that's an issue. Um, <laughs> I don't know why... Okay, so if you're wondering what I'm talking about, um, Titi here, what, he hits this with his left outside of the boot. Okay, okay, so there's a problem. Uh, that that needs to be addressed because that's ridiculous. There's no way in your right mind you would attempt to play a ball with the outside of your boot from there. Um, I mean, outside of the boot is one of those things that you only really do it if you're that confident. It's not an easy thing to do. Players like Robin will often do it, of course. Michael Owen, way back in the day, was very good with the outside of his right foot. Uh, Messi, of course, very key as well. But is Umtiti going to play a ball with the outside of his boot from there? Mm, no, probably not. Anyway, Dembele, here we go. Looking for options. Lionel Messi is always fun to play with and, and dribble. See the center of gravity there. Kept on his feet, managed to poke it forward. It was a foul, but the referee said, you know what, let's play on. And Luis Suarez's strike denied by the big German of Oliver Kahn. But right there, you can see Messi just staying on his feet. It was a foul. The referee played on. Uh, he struck this well, but uh, it was a good save. I don't think they've really done much with the shooting. The shooting does seem to be exactly the same uh, as last year. I've seen a lot of... Actually, I've seen a couple more low shots, but I think overall, on the balance of play, uh, the shooting is very, very similar to what we saw last year. Uh, nice little header there. All players all over the place. Is he going to give a penalty? No, he's not. Actually, I do want to look at that again. I want to see if both players fell down the exact same way because that would have happened last year. So let's see. Wins the header. Watch right here. Mm, okay. I mean, not exactly the same. They both went down, but it wasn't two animations uh, of similar stature. So Adam is uh, he's playing as Barca, by the way. Robbie is uh, the Legends. And here's another chance. Rakitic just trying to feed it outside. Messi picks it up. Okay, fair enough. Low animation there again. Fell on his backside. And now they'll just continue to push it forward. I do like the pace, though. Let me know your thoughts about the speed. Here we go. Outside of the boot. Messi scored again. He's picked up the old hat trick. He'll take home the old match ball as well. Very nicely done. 
So he kisses uh, his hand, waves to the sky, applauds of his lads, and uh, does the business, doesn't he? One of the world's best, if not the best. Looks good, though. Really good player model. And apparently he's not uh, the newer version of Messi. They did 3D scan, in, uh, scan him more uh, recently. And they've got a new updated version of him coming. So this isn't the official look of Messi. He will look even better. So this is a nice ball up the line. Took it in his stride. Just pokes it. Goalkeeping. Debatable. But I think they are playing on, like, regular goalies, if I'm not mistaken. They were in the first video, so if they're playing on regular keepers, you wouldn't expect them to be that brilliant. But it's three goals to one. Plenty of goals for you guys to check out. Uh, nice ball over the top there. I just I like the way that players now actually think before they pass. It's almost like they have a brain, and uh, oh, that's a bit of a woeful finish. You know, they if they're gonna hit, if they're gonna hit a long pass, they take a little bit longer because obviously you've got to line yourself up more than playing a short five ten yard pass. And here was the chance for Ronaldinho, but he actually it was a good save by the goalie. I thought it went straight wide. Well played to Stegen. Out for the corner, it's David Beckham. He's gonna fizz this one in. He's gone for the back post this time. Nice little jostle there. Back into the mix. Collision between two players. Referee plays on. And uh, away goes Messi once more. Didn't really talk about stamina or anything like that. So I don't know how that's going to play out. If it's been uh, tweaked from last year. Increased. How how exactly it's gone. Uh, here is Ronaldinho. You can see doing the old moves now. He's showing you exactly what he can do. But I, I like that. I love the way they switch it. Uh, just It's those little things, isn't it? Let's have a look here. Slow it down for you guys to take a look at. So, a little bit of a fake, gets it out, and then the way he, look at that, boom, beautiful. Swings it round to the other flank, and uh, he switches it straight to Beckham, who he can now line up a strike, or uh, a cross. Nice little animation there as well. I think they've done, I think they've certainly worked on it. They've worked on the gameplay quite nicely. Considering this is an early build, uh, there is a lot to be impressed with. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, what kind of a card have we got here? Have we got a red? Was he the last man? That's the question. Yes, he certainly was. Uh, Mateus, off you go, son. Not good enough. And uh, the old stretcher. Still the old cutscene from before. Well, let's have a look here. Slow this down so you guys can get a nice feel for how this looks. Catches him. Does he catch him there, though? You can't really see too much. Let's see. He takes a touch. Have a look right here with his foot. He comes in. Clips him. Uh, I mean, his foot does go through. Yeah, I mean, the clipping is there because his foot went through Mateus's, uh his other leg. But, you know, I keep mentioning it. It's not going to be rectified in this engine now. It's just not. We're going to have to wait till... Whatever they do next, whether it be the PS5 or the new Xbox, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Another chance for a free kick. Got final 15 minutes to play. I know this is going to be a long video for you guys. But uh, I don't know. Just wanted to show a full match so you can get a real feel for it. That's a good effort and a, a comfortable save, though, by Mr. Oliver Kahn. That's a real whip on it as well. But hopefully they'll take the feedback that they get from the game. I would love for them to come out with a beta and give us the option to play uh, online and, of course, play with... Um... Well, that was a bit of argy-bargy. I'll let this run its course. Okay, now we can bring it back. So have a look at this here. And... Uh... So the ball was whipped in. I do apologize stopping and starting, but that's what I like to do with these videos. But have a look here. They get up. There's a complete collision. They're still on the floor. One of them's taking longer. One of them's not happy. He jumps onto his foot. He's still playing around. And uh, it's all a little bit cagey in there. But well, it's nice to see, though. The animations will change according to, obviously, what you, ha what you do, what happens, how quick they'll get up. You'd like to see them get up as quickly as they can. Little Messi right now is just having an absolute field day. Maybe a little bit OP. I, I don't know what's going on here, but he's pure filth. Celebrating with the old kisses again. Four goals for him. 
but they are playing i keep forgetting on regular goalkeeping so that doesn't really help a whole lot but i think they wanted to show a lot of the goals overall this is the problem though here isn't it, it hasn't been fixed messi's the same height as everyone else in this cutscene. so konami if you're watching let's fix the bug here because every single player is the same height uh, suarez is not the same height as messi no he's certainly taller than him uh, but messi took this well it was a nice give and go got it back and then just just smashes it with the outside of the boot did generate a lot of power from uh, not too much back lift but he gets it back off dembele and then just bang bottom corner not a whole lot of the goal he can do really it was a, a fine strike so it's now four goals to one so five goals in this one you see they're just chatting away at the top i'm not quite sure what they're saying but either way you guys at least get to see the gameplay uh, i think the, the camera angle is the big thing it's nice that they've tried to incorporate something different because the dynamic camera angle they had was all right but it wasn't it wasn't broadcasting and it wasn't doing pez any justice playing on pc you get to have this luxury of doing this on console you don't so it's nice now that you will be able to do this on ps4 on xbox and not have to worry about playing on the same camera angle all the time so we've got a chance here final eight minutes diego maradona tried to play it forward reactions there were good though i did like that i'll bring this back once more because this is going back to the reaction time the responsiveness of the game so maradona picks it up here little cut inside tries to took a deflection now he didn't stop there, did he? You see that? You notice that? He didn't He didn't stop. In Pez 19, I guarantee you, Jordi Alba would have had a brain fart right about here and stopped running. He didn't. He carried on accelerating towards the ball. So thank you for at least rectifying that issue because there is nothing more infuriating than playing and your player just loses control of him. You lose control of him. And it makes it very difficult to defend. I think that's my biggest issue as well. It's testing out the defending and seeing how, you know, lively and responsive the, the AI are at the back for you. Because that will cost you some goals. Final five minutes now. Adam uh, pretty much dominated this match. But you would expect that. What with him uh, playing the game a lot more. Tried to play that ball over the top there. Andres Iniesta back to Totti. Batistuta, Maradona, it's got a lot of space out wide here. Now watch Beckham's delivery. Love that technique. Absolutely love it. I'm going to rewind it because it is beautiful to watch. If the one thing they do nail is, is Beckham's, the way he bends this in. Just watch him here. Takes a nice touch and then beautiful. That is Beckham-esque night and day. So it comes back to the back post. Ronaldinho, maybe some trickery. Nice little cut back. Go on, I go for the old bend, try to, and that's comfortable for the goalie. So that looks like that's going to be about it. But yeah, they're going to actually go back to Beckham and the technique. I didn't even know they were going to do that. But yeah, just the way he whips that in. Two players battling for it. But you can see Batistuta, look, he's leaning on PK. He's got the arm up. He's sort of nestling on his shoulder, which is stopping the Spaniard from, from getting up and winning the header too easily. Uh, then they're showing a little bit of Ronaldinho here. Some tricks. Nice little fake. Cuts one way. I don't know. I just like the way the players are interacting with each other. There's a good physicality about this game now that I see. The clipping hasn't been too bad from what I've seen. But it's only been one video. You can't judge it by uh, by that much. Uh, but overall, I think it's, it's a good start. It's impressive that they've certainly ramped it up. Uh, but you're going to have to really play it to get the full gist of it we may even have one goal here but no final goal is not going to happen this will be the final chance but i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video that is that and that man gets a hat trick and that was the end of that stream so leave your thoughts below i know it's a long one um overall i like i said quite impressed by it I'm not going to be blown away by it i'm not going to go crazy about it because we still have a long time to go before the game's released and things could change but it's a good start. It certainly is. The physicality is there. I think if I'm going to point out three things about this video, and uh, we'll just let it run its course, I'd say the physicality has been upped. 
and it's nice to see that the responsiveness looks like it's been fixed or at least addressed and i'm seeing less clipping as well those are three very important things about the game that hopefully they keep expanding upon over the next couple of months because we don't know how old this build is but it does look like it's a build that is fun to play and it's polished at least anyway we'll be back shortly subscribe for more let me know your thoughts below as always and until next time take care